Kyle came in with long, flowing, beautiful hair. <laughs> Kyle's back, everyone. Yeah, she's back. <laughs> you know, it's funny because like your hair, it looks so normal and natural, but it was like your hair... Although it was short, right? Yeah. How much longer is it now? It's a lot longer. <laughs> like, like inches? I think before, in, like inches, probably at least a foot longer. Dang. Yeah, at least. <laughs> at least. Before, I think it was like right below my shoulders. Like now, I think it goes down like to the middle of my back. Pretty it's awesome, so much though. fun, you guys. It's so awesome. Yeah, yeah, you extensions. It. I did. It's totally your look. I you really know? enjoy it. Like, I enjoy switching it up. I kind of, like, get bored with hair. I think a lot mm-hmm. of girls do. And, like, it was fun to have it short for a while. But then now I'm like, it's time. Yeah. It's time to bring the long <laughs> hair back. Oh. It's funny because it's, like, a four-hour appointment yesterday, which that's actually really fast compared to, like other appointments but i had told my hair girl allison i was like okay i don't have a lot of time i have to go pick up my daughter take her to dance do all the things you know the mom stuff so do you think you can get me out on time and she's like we can do this so i sit down and like you know there's she always has like four or five girls working on my hair at the same time she's just like it's so bizarre but like amazing at the same time and i like start you know like scrolling through my phone and i'm like i get this alert like bing your meeting starts in 15 minutes. And I'm all, oh, what? And I totally forgot that I had like this Zoom call with a new client. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, it's okay. Maybe no one's doing cameras, right? So so she's like, we have like this other area that you can go in. So at least it's quiet. And I was like, okay. So we move areas. And I like log on to the call. And everyone has their cameras on. And I'm like, no, no, we're not doing, we're doing cameras. <laughs> it's not necessary. It could be a phone call. So I like, I popped on really quick because the girls were like bringing this, the stuff to the other area. So it didn't necessarily look like I was getting my hair done at oh, that so point. You didn't have that I popped on. I was like, hi. <laughs> you know, said hi. Maybe, maybe like, you know, like in a first impression, right? And then like popped it off and then like, like, <laughs> all the things happening around my hair. <laughs> and I was like, they're like, any questions? I pop up and I'm like, no, thank you so much. <laughs> you got away with it? Yes. Uh- That's hilarious. So if you're just on the call and you're just like, also they just I'm- see them doing stuff and you have the tinfoil in your hair and they come back. I, and- but it was like, it's like a new, it's like a new client. It's like, maybe if it was like someone we've worked with for a really long time, they'd be like, ah, oh, I forgot. You know uh, what I mean? Great. But I almost feel like it was like disrespectful. I Next time you do that. Zoom, you're like on an airplane about to parachute out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, like... Good stuff. I'll see you later. That's it's your Third time, time you're like in the backyard. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> I feel like that's what our boss always gives you grief about, John Jay. Like, he never knows where you're going to be for a Zoom call. I'm like, I try to not be doing other things like when you do a Zoom call, but it was just like, you know, I really needed it. I think my roots were like about three inches long. Like, it was time. Well, it looks great. <laughs> Thank you. We got to put pictures up um, up on our website at johnjayrich.com. It'd be great to have some sort of like Kyle's hairstyle throughout the years. <laughs> totally. It pops up on my time hop all the time. And, <laughs> you know, but it looks fantastic. Thank um, you. Peyton, we talked yesterday. It's on our podcast about how you were going to go work out for the Spartan race, training yeah. for the Spartan race in uh, November. Yes. And it was your first workout. Did you do it? Uh, I didn't do what I wanted to do, which was to just go out and run a mile. Um, but I hopped in with some of my high school girls and got into practice. And I had put on my Apple Watch. I charged my Apple Watch for the first time in like a year so I could like kind of keep up track and track everything and so I got my mile in with my high school girls but it wasn't what I exactly wanted to do which is a little frustrating your first day of training for the Spartan race because you're legit going for the Spartan race which is November and by the way if you listen to our podcast with Joe DeSena on the afterwards podcast from last week he invited 300 of people 300 people to listen to our show to come with us for free so listen to that, and then you can get all the details of what to do. But Peyton, you're all in. You're starting to yeah. train. But yesterday, so like today, you're going to train. Like at one point, do you go, okay, I gotta start training for the for real. Yes. So I'm hoping like whenever my body is ready, like I'll know when I'm ready to kind of go in full force. And I think it'll probably take me about a week and a half to kind of get like all the gross toxins out of my body to where I'm not like feeling like I'm going to pass out and die when I am running. Um, But it'll happen. And I think I'm going to give myself like a week and a half. And it's not just a run, right? You're climbing walls, climbing under barbed wire. Yeah, I called my dad. I was like, I'm going to need you to pull out the sled. Like I'm going to be doing pushes and everything, bear crawls, all that like on the turf. So I'm excited, but I'm definitely feeling a little sore. So I know I'm just definitely going to have to focus on like taking care of my body because... 
I don't want it to like crap out on me. Yeah, you don't want to get hurt. <laughs> yeah. I always feel like when you haven't worked out for like a really long time, you do kind of have to ease yourself back yeah, into it. Totally. Like Even consistently, if you're out, but <laughs> like I would work out all the time. And I would play the stupid softball game, and I got hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, yeah. Um, so this, there's this. You know how uh, for years I got, I've been into Bikram yoga, right? Bikram yoga for years. I love Bikram yoga, hot yoga. It's change, don't the, the thing about Bikram yoga is that the anticipation of getting into the class sucks. Like I can't. Like all day, I knew I was doing a Bikram yoga class yesterday, and I just was miserable up until the time I got into the class. And the people that I've been going to forever. It's so fascinating since I started going in 2007 and to see this one little studio grow and now they have like, I don't know, five or six studios. Now they started franchising their studios. The studios are all over the country wow. now. They're popping Whoa. up and it started this tiny little thing. So they just opened up a studio by my house and I and I got invited to go to the class. So my wife and I went to the class yesterday at 4.30 and it's the most beautiful yoga studio I've ever seen. It's humongous. It's overlooking the city. It's got great views. But it was so hard. It was miserable. <laughs> and and I was there was a point in the beginning where the first two exercises are just breathing. Mm. You breathe. You know, you put your arms like this underneath your chin and you breathe twenty times. And I started laughing halfway through because it was so hard. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was in the middle of and I couldn't believe how much yoga, no matter what you do in life, yoga just boom. Screw you. You're done. You're not so you're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. <laughs> What's yeah. so difficult about the workout? It's just, you know what? I'm going to you should come with me sometime. I would love to. Cuz it is. I've taken your dad with me, but actually your dad did a different version with me. I was just say I don't know if my dad could. I feel like he would oh, just fall right over. He did. He did. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gone with me twice, but this that's not Bikram though. This is it seems so simple. It's just 26 poses. No music and the teacher just talking, telling you what to do. And it is so hard. And my wife's next to me and she's just rocking it. And I'm like, where did, where did you come from? <laughs> and I'm like lying down. I'm dying. I can't handle what's going on. I'm like already thinking I'm going to be the first person carried out of this room and they just opened up. Now they're going to have like <laughs> caution tape everywhere that I just died. I mean, it was miserable. That's a good class. Then when you get out, you feel like a million bucks. When I get out, I'm like, I'm coming back every day. <laughs> yeah. This is the best thing that ever happened in my I life. Get, I, I don't can't get believe that it. class. I don't get it. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's like, this is yeah. awesome. It's I'm going to have long. Hell. Like Kyle when I get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> really, really. Just like, <laughs> yeah. and then and then the teacher gives you this like science behind the the Bikram yoga. Like if you do this yoga, you have a twenty seven percent chance of uh, extra car cardiac health. There's all these NBA players. Kareem Abdul Jabbar said that he played eight extra years in the NBA because of Bikram yoga. I believe that. There's a guy named Joe Johnson. Do you know him? He plays in the I NBA. Don't. After Joe's they, front grill? No, after he, uh, <laughs> yep. the teacher said this guy's name, the NBA, I Googled him. The dude is shredded and does Bikram yoga every day. And I guess he's been 18 years in the NBA, a seven-time all-star, and he does Bikram yoga. Kobe did Bikram yoga. Mm. Lady Gaga does Bikram yoga. Madonna does Bikram yoga. And I'm just like... I just to get there is just it's just the worst but when it's done <laughs> yeah. it's amazing i know even if you cut like i've done it too where i've collapsed halfway through class and you just lay down and they tell you just don't leave the room it still feels good well, when you're done what's funny too is i remember kyle going with me to a class one time right and what's so funny because kyle's got these long ass legs and arms and i remember her being in the front right part of the class this was so funny i remember her kicking her leg out it was like <laughs> 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 isn't that oh weird God, i remember that long limbs it's awkward. That's so weird that I remember that. Like, it's like people in the back row had to go, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. The thing that tripped me out about that, because it is, it's so hot in there. I don't know what they put Miserable. it at. It's like, it's like 110. It, no, it was, it was, it was at like 99, but really humid. Oh, okay. And then they had a heater in my head. And the, just the amount of sweat that comes out your body during a Bikram yoga You're like kind of yeah. out with yourself. Yeah, you yeah. don't smell yeah. awesome. Yeah, but you talk about the toxins. You were talking about these right. toxins. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they're out. Oh, yeah. That's they're the out. Best. And it's this pose cleans your liver. This pose cleans your thyroid. That's this awesome. pose, that's what I'm talking about. And the, and the teacher talks you through it. But you do oh. feel great afterwards. Yeah. The, the, it, 